Hello friends. Hello and welcome to ADG Guru channel. In this session, I will be talking about identifiers in C language. So let's get started. The points that we will discuss today are first we will look at what are the identifiers. Then we will see the rules for naming the identifiers. Then we will take some practical examples illustrating the identifiers including the examples of some uh, valid and invalid identifiers. First we will look at what are the identifiers. So as we all know that computer can understand only the binary language or computer can only understand the zeros and ones. It can store a data in a form of uh, numbers, right? Zeros and ones. It can only understand the numbers. But we all can easily remember the names instead of the numbers, right? For example, in a class of 60 students, a teacher could easily remember the uh, name of the students than the roll number, right? She can uh, easily remember like he is a John, she is a Jenny, he is a Nick, right? She could not easily remember the roll number of each and every student. So names are very easy for us to remember than the numbers. Similarly, identifiers are nothing but, identifiers in a C language are nothing but, these are the user defined names. These identifiers in a C language are nothing but, these are the user defined names used to identify various programming elements, right? Elements could include the variables, functions, arrays and etc. So, identifiers are nothing but these are the name given to the programming elements such as very name given to the variable, functions, arrays and etc. Whenever we are giving a name to an identifier, we must follow some rules and conventions, right? Whenever we are assigning a name to the identifier, we must follow certain rules and the conventions. Let us look at which are those rules that we must need to be followed while giving a name to an identifier. So the first rule says that the identifiers can consist of letters, Digits and underscores. Identifier can consist of letters. It, it could also consist of digits and underscore. Letter could be both uppercase or lowercase. Right? The second rule says that they must start with a letter or underscore. First rule says that the letters are allowed. Underscore is also allowed and digits are allowed. But the second rule says that it should always start with either letter or underscore. They should not start with digits. Alright. Digits should not be the first letter as an identifier name. For example, INT 57 roll number. Right. This particular, in this particular example, 57 roll number is an Identifier, right? Name given to the variable. It is an identifier. The okay, the digits are allowed fine. The uh, letters are allowed fine. But this particular identifier is starting with the digit fifty-seven, and which is not allowed, right? And that's why it is invalid identifier. Instead, if we write int roll number fifty-seven, this is allowed. Also, if the uh, if the identifier 
and roll number is starting with underscore which is also allowed. Alright? Then third rule says that then the third rule says that no keywords are to be allowed as an identifier name. Keywords are the reserved words. No worries, we will look at the keywords in detail in one of our upcoming video. Keywords, we could not use the keywords in a C language as an identifier names, right? Keywords are not allowed as an identifier name. If we write int float, so here the float is the name given to the variable, so it is like identifier, but float is like float is a keyword, right? So it is not allowed as an identifier name, and that's why it is invalid, right? Also, if we write int for, for is also the keyword in a C language, so we could not use those keywords as an identifier name. So this is not allowed. The special characters are also not allowed as an identifier name. We could not use any special character except underscore. Underscore is only allowed. Apart from the underscore, no special characters is allowed in a uh, identifier name, right? For example, if we write, uh, if we use a uh, dollar, hash, comma, percent, or any other special characters apart from the underscore, which is not allowed, right? Only the underscore is allowed, which is exception. Next rule says that identifiers are case sensitive, right? Identifiers are case sensitive. If we write my var in which the V is capital and if we write my var in which the V is small. So both are to be considered as a two different identifier since it is case sensitive. The next rule says that there is a length limitation while giving a name to an identifier. Like uh, we, the length of the identifier name, uh, the length of identifier name should not exceed the 31 character. Next we will look at the examples of identifiers. So here, the int age, age is the identifier, right? Age is the identifier. All, uh, it includes all the characters, all the, all the letters and it is allowed. So it is a valid identifier. Next is the float, underscore value. It includes the underscore which is allowed. Then um, characters or the letters, it is also allowed. So it is also the um, valid identifiers, right? So here the my car is a identifier name, right? So which includes the uh, letters, uh, combination of uh, uppercase and lowercase, which is allowed. So it is also valid identifier. Next is the this is the print message is the identifier, which is the name given to the functions. It is the function name, which includes the letters. Uh, uppercase and lowercase combinations which is allowed so it is valid identifier. Next here hash define max limit 100. Uh, so here the max limit is the identifier name which includes the letter and underscore so it, uh, it, it is allowed right. The next is the student underscore score. It is the name given to the array right. So which includes the um, Letters and underscores which is allowed. So that's why it is a valid identifier. Next, um, here we have declared one very 
will i be equal to 3 abc right so this particular variable can contain the uh, digits right this is the identifier name 123 abc is the identifier name which includes the 1 to 3 means digits digits which is allowed right um, letters which is allowed but digits should not be the first letter means it should not start with the digits right but this particular identifier is starting with the digits and that's why it is not allowed and it is not a valid identifier this is an invalid identifier right the next is the my val this is the identifier name right so which includes the letters which is which includes the letters which is allowed right but it includes the special characters which is uh, not allowed special characters like dash except special characters are not allowed except underscore underscore is allowed but here it is it has used dash it is not um, allowed right so it is invalid identifiers next is the uh, care if so this is also the invalid identifier since it has used the keyword if so which is not allowed and that's why it is an invalid identifiers all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to edg guru channel thank you thank you for watching